Hello, this is Mark from Productive Computing. Thanks for joining me on this video. I wanted to share my thoughts on the recent announcements from Claris. And if you want to see what those announcements were in their entirety, feel free to look in the description below this video and we'll put a link to the original Claris webinar, which has now been captured on YouTube and is made for public consumption. There's a lot of interesting information in that webinar. So this is going to be really exciting for you if you are a longtime FileMaker user to see some of these notable changes. But with some of the things I'm about to share, I think you'll be excited if you're an up and coming developer just getting started in your career and you're looking for a platform that'll allow you to build essentially anything and have it in a way that's really well thought out with a rich history of infrastructure and security considerations and a lot of the things that you don't get from today's free platforms. So let me explain more. First of all, the big change is that it's no longer going to be called FileMaker Pro. That's the main application that we work with here at Productive Computing. That name is changing to Claris Pro. And FileMaker Go is changing to Claris Go. And then FileMaker Server is changing to Claris Server. So you get the idea. Everything has this idea that it's connected with Claris and it works together as a collective, as one big happy platform. Now there's a new kit on the block called Claris Studio. This is gonna be a web-based application designer, if you will, a studio, where you'll be able to go on there and using nothing more than a browser and some skills, you'll be able to create some web forms and all kinds of connectivity between applications that you build and applications that you want to integrate. And it also incorporates something called Claris Connect, which is a product not unlike what you'd see in a Zapier type product, where you can connect two different systems with their APIs and without doing a lot of the same coding or some of the same grunt work that you would normally have to do. So it saves you from having to do that. And that's incorporated into Claris Studio as well, which prior to this announcement, that was all additional charged, additional fee. You had to actually pay extra for all that. So that's exciting. Now, Besides all that, besides that we had the fact that we have this name change in this new innovative platform, the platform is going to be available for free for those who want to start with it and get to know it and begin to work with it. So for those up and coming developers with whom I work with a lot, whether it be a new employee here at Productive Computing or someone I speak to at a university in computer science school or anything in between, I'm constantly spreading the word about the FileMaker platform, now called the Claris platform. And in doing so, a lot of times the student would say, well, how do I get started? Well, there was a two week free trial, but after that, it's some significant money that you had to lay out in order just to even get the FileMaker Pro product, now called Claris Pro. And now that's free. That's 100% free. And you get Claris Studio for free. And FileMaker Go, Claris Go is already free. Uh, so, that means it's a game changer. That means an up and coming developer, there won't be any barriers to entry, at least from a financial position. In addition, on the Mac store, on the Apple store, um, Claris Go or Claris Pro, actually probably both, will be available for download. And that's something we've never had access to before. So this will give us the opportunity to build a complete system, fully integrated with API connectivity to third-party systems, a uh, full thought-out interface, data collection, data storage, all of that for free. And for life, there's no expiration date. Once that gets fleshed out and tested and proven, think of it as a way to build a prototype, then you can introduce that to a customer or to an industry and begin to share that knowledge and that inspiration. Once you decide to share the information with others by adding new users, then you'll be asked for a subscription to pay for a subscription. So that makes sense to me. That's always made sense to me. This is something I've always wanted for the platform is give up and coming developers a way to get started and to get inspired. In fact, this is how AWS became so wildly popular. It's because you get a free year worth of use of the platform, essentially 90% of the platform for free to get started. So people would do that. And then of course they would fall in love with the platform and what it can do. And then naturally they'll start paying from that point forward. I believe the same thing will happen with the Claris platform. That's my sincere belief. Other things that are exciting about this release is the fact that there's an eye to innovation and 
relevancy and building things that make sense in today's world. They have a, uh, a cloud first mentality. I think that's good. They also seem to have renewed emphasis for us developers, seeing developers as a key ingredient to the deployment of these applications. Yes, there are customers and users who pay for the license. Those are ultimately the customers, but it does take providers and partners like us to integrate those systems and to deploy them and to train people how to use them and to refine them and enhance them and to optimize them. It really does need a skilled team of people known as partners to do that in most cases, unless the customer has that done internally. So I think the emphasis and the eye to giving the partners a voice and for also realizing their importance in the chain of that is a really a good thing. All right, let's see what else we have. We also have new licensing coming up in terms of how it works. You'll be buying a single license based on users and that will give you access to the entire platform. They sort of started moving in this direction already, but I think we're seeing the finalization of that idea where one license and you get access to the whole platform. And, you know, this platform is owned by Apple and it feels like for the first time in a long time, it feels like these innovations, these announcements and this, this recognition of how to deploy software and how to get people inspired to use software seems to be very Apple-like, which makes sense because Claris is owned by Apple. And that sort of, that sort of entrepreneurial leadership, that sort of invention, invention mentality, I think is, is, is now, st I'm starting to see it again from Claris and it's exciting. So I just wanted to share those updates with you and uh, kind of get you on the inside. There's a lot to be discovered here. There's a lot to unpack, uh, in particular, the Claris Studio, what that is, what it can do, how does it work, how does it interact with everything else, how does that work with the existing products, and you know, is there going to be a seamless transition, is there no transition required? All of these questions that I have, and I'm sure many others have, are yet to be determined here in early 2022, well actually well, or late April 2022. But as this information becomes available, we will definitely be embracing it and reviewing it and bringing it to you so we can curate it and decipher it for you, hopefully explain it in a way that is a little easier to understand. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any comments, questions, concerns, feedback, and we'd start a, we'll start a conversation here right below this video and we'll get it going. Do stay tuned because Productive Computing University our training site has, uh, we have every inclination and desire to do courses in and around this new technology so that you can be learning it from our perspective and um, with the best help we can provide. So do stay tuned for that. The best way to stay tuned for that, besides subscribing here to the YouTube channel, is to actually join our mailing list. And we'll put a link below this description, b below this video in the description for our mailing list if you want to join that. And we send a newsletter about once a month and other little announcements in between. Thanks for your time and attention today. We're excited about the future. Feel free to leave a comment and we'll talk to you on the next one.